Okay, so here we go with chapter two. To our first stop, Skara. So, uh, were you use are you using a different program for this chapter than the original trailer, Cameron? No, uh, same program, just all completely, um, I'll just call them remastered, remade, upgraded models. Um, cause I've learned like obviously new techniques in like the ages since it's been since that chapter, but, um, uh, yeah, no, same program, Blender and everything. It's just gone updates and stuff. So it just mm. looks a bit cleaner. Cool. So yes, your ships just missed the populace yeah. preserver after they hyper jumped. Yeah, pretty much this chapter is the plot of um, of the cancel ten point five chapter. This pretty much is the same plot, except it'll uh, instead of like the um, well, I won't I won't say what happens end of that, but it just leads into more story of the spin off than the mainstream one. Hmm. Pretty much. All right. It did a really. You did a really good job of. I like this style. This whole thing. When I react, obviously my reaction isn't up yet. But my, the whole thing reminded me of like an old, scene in like a PS One game or something. Like, mm -hmm. but in yeah. the best possible way. But you can see the populous preserver on the screens in the background and things like that, and it's just like, I, I was just blown away by it. Like I really yeah. liked it. I don't know if uh, both of you noticed, but um, the design for the ship was inspired by um, the Trade Federation ship from episode Phantom Menace Episode 1, with the uh, ah. ring arms and everything uh, in the middle. Interesting. Inspired yeah. by that. One with the sphere in the middle. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, even though the Reapers were never actually named in this chapter, that's basically the name we've kind of settled on for this lot of characters. Yep. Like, these Do are fair, I, the Reapers. I never came up with a name for them either, even if we're <laughs> making it so the Reapers work just fine. <laughs> they work fine. I, I hadn't even... I was wondering when they were going to get a name reveal, so will we see that soon? Well, I mean, um, chapter well, three, they <laughs> that, that yeah, they kind of happened. But um, the way I saw it, um, the, obviously we've not got to him yet, the big Reaper, but he, well, well, I'll explain when we get to him. All right. Like, so, yeah, just looking around, all these little details, yeah, you can see all the Reapers there, seeing, studying the ship from all angles with the 2D references that I provided. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm afraid, sir, they've managed to slip from my grasp again. How many Reapers do you have at your command? Because I'm a little scared, because uh, originally well. I started originally I started off with just under a hundred Cybermen and since since those chapters their numbers have been halved. Um I like to think there's a lot of them, but they're not that um they're not that powerful, so it's mm. more it's more it's more quantity over quality, if you know what I mean. I see. But from the energy signature, but only a few seconds. I'm having the navigators try and determine what will be the pilot's next move. Hopefully we'll catch them the next time they give themselves away. <sighs> so close. And yet they evade me. We haven't gotten this close to the ship since we cornered them above the rings of Dagon. And there he is, the big boss himself. The big man himself. Um... This is one thing I want to say. With the when he says the rings of Dagon, that audio clip is actually glitched. It's the um, it's the rings of Dagon four, but I, it never said the four whenever I rendered it out like five times in a row. So I just gave up. <laughs> so 
is, that, is that the rings of is that a reference to something i'm not aware of no i just wanted to add like say they've been chasing them for a while so i just wanted to add some like that context hmm. i see because I, uh, I was beginning to wonder is that a location in star wars i'm not aware of yet it does yeah. sound like something that should be in like doctor it, who it does sound like it should be um <laughs> as i was saying with um you, everyone was saying like he's Reaper One. He, no, he's Reaper Thirty Five, the Thirty Fifth version of him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was thinking Reaper One's like a, uh, it's like a calculator. Like the first one was just like a, a toaster that went bad or yeah. something. <laughs> just, I, just add some jokes to it. I think that's good, but I, I think I do. I also kind of get IG Eighty Eight vibes from these guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I've yeah. never seen the cat scene. I was going for a, sorry. Okay. I was I was going for a bit of a battle droid look as well for like the lesser reapers. Mm. Um, yeah, I got that vibe. And for two two one seven, can you guess what his uh, his his number stand for? Uh. Oh no, you're making me think like. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's the day for the first ever episode of Fresh vs. Snake Staff. Oh my god! These yeah, details! It's a, reference. it's a reference and a reference. These details! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is it's good. The, uh, it's the date for the first episode released back in 20, 20, uh, 17. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. You did your homework. I was the cherry on top of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> The, the ironic thing is, it's the first one who gets named on your side as well. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is going to be I knew, incredible. I knew you'd enjoy that. I knew you'd enjoy that. <laughs> you can't lose her. No one was so close to catch her. If it wasn't for fresh summoning his army back, we would never have been able to find them after they escaped us. Don't worry, sir. We'll be able to track them again. And while Fresh may have the adventure to land with his forces, it is us that controls the sky with not only your fleet, but the Dalek Armada as well. So, yeah. Uh, claiming to be the rulers of the skies. Yeah. Well, Fresh kind of has the, uh... I mean, he kind of has the uh, land advantage with all his forces, but, I mean, the Darks have all their ships and Reaper's got all his as well, so I thought, you know, kind of evens it out. <laughs> this is the moment in the reaction video where I just lost my call. <laughs> because I can't say why. I'm going to wait till I upload the reaction videos. But this chapter ended up perfectly integrating with what I've got planned for my side of things when it comes down to it. Like, but by accident. You know, like, it's something... It would be like if someone watched this, it'd go, they planned that because that was really well planned out if that's the case. And in my <laughs> head, I'm going, no, it just coincidentally fit like, perfectly <laughs> to what's no. going to happen later on. <laughs> just like... <laughs> yeah. Because when you don't know what's going to happen next, you just uh, work around it and just work with the details you've been provided. Well, I had a... F I had a few ideas from, from what had been sent to me, and so I just I kept it so that the Reapers, well, they don't know what's going to happen next, so they're assuming they're still, uh, everything's still going their way when, I don't know, it might not, who knows? <laughs> but, yeah. But they're confident right now. <laughs> yeah, because there's some things I've told Cameron to try and do in his story, but nothing concrete, so he's left it open, which is part of the plan. I see. Uh, it's interesting that it worked out how he wrote it, you know, like how it's worked really well. <laughs> yeah.